So, Lenny, what did you do this time? I didn't do anything. Lenny, we have video footage of you stealing a blah. What? No, that's not true. Okay, let's take a look. She proceeds to show Lenny the video of him picking up the blah blah and walking away with it. What are you talking about? I didn't steal that blah. All right, then who did? I don't know. Somebody must have put it in my bag without me knowing. Well, whoever did this is going to pay. And next time, watch where you're going when you go out picking up stray blahs. Hey guys, I found a curious spatula today. What is it? It's a weird looking spatula that has two different kinds of blades on it. What could it be used for? I don't know, but I'm curious to find out. Do you think anyone will want the spatula? Do you think we have anything in common? I don't know, to be honest. I guess we're both interested in art, and we have a lot in common there. I guess you're right. Well, it's nice that we share some common interests. Yeah, it sure is. I think the best way to find out if we have anything else in common is to get to know each other better. What do you say? Would you like to go out on a date sometime? That sounds like a great idea. I'd love to get to know you better too. The professor has developed a new invention that he calls the Furley Fun End Flow. It is a new way to make water flow more easily. He demonstrated the Fun End Flow by making a pirouette in his office. That's all for today. See you next time. I never managed to ride on a cable car. Any thoughts? Well, a cable car would be cool. I also like visiting museums and looking at art. And there's always something new to see and do in a city. That sounds like fun. Cities are always so fresh and new. What's your favourite city to visit? That's a tough question. I've been to a lot of places, but my all-time favourite has to be San Francisco. It has such an amazing history, and it's always so vibrant and busy. Hey guys, I hate to burst your bubble, but artificial intelligence is really transforming the world. You're kidding. We always thought AI was this amazing thing that would help us out and make our lives easier. But now you're saying it's actually making things worse? Yeah, I think that's pretty much right. The way I see it, AI is just helping to speed up the process of automation and robots taking over a lot of jobs. Plus, it's making it harder for human beings to compete in the job market. I know what you mean. For example, I'm a hairdresser and I used to be able to do a really good job with my scissors and clippers. But now with all the advanced AI hair styling software out there, I'm starting to lose clients because they can get the same hack done at home using software programs like Hairdresser Pro or GHNitit. So yeah, I think AI is definitely having a negative impact on our world. Thank you for coming to my lecture on the invention of blah blah. I think it's an interesting topic, and one that I'm passionate about. Blah blah has been around for centuries, but its true origins date back to 1832. That's when a man named Charles Gugio discovered a way to make rubber more durable. He did this by curing it in hot salt water, and he named his new product Blah Arabic. Naturally, people were interested in buying this new product, so Gugio started making small batches and selling them from his home. It wasn't until 1847 that he finally got his product into the hands of large retailers. At first, people primarily chewed blah as a way to keep their teeth clean. But over time, blah blah became more popular for its various other benefits. For example, blah blah can help improve concentration levels, boost energy levels, decrease stress levels, and reduce cravings for unhealthy foods. It's also been proven to be helpful for people with digestive issues and chronic bad breath. In fact, some studies have even shown that blah blah can help restore tooth health. So thank you again for coming to my lecture on the invention of blah blah. I hope you found it informative and interesting. That's all for today. See you next time.